Hello everyone, this is Missy and Fabio and we are just welcoming you in the new studio that we have. Yeah. <laughs> We're touring new construction, you guys. We decided to shoot a couple um, in some of these beautiful homes um, to share some time with you all. Yeah, so we want to share a few things that uh, happens to me and it happens to you. Whew. A learning experience. So one of the things that happens to me is because I got a, like a lot of credit from my from a buyer, mm -hmm. which is uh by which is totally out of the ordinary right now. Yes, it is. It is. You and got, in some way, you got six percent, you guys. Yeah. Uh, seller credit though, because and that seller credit goes to the buyer. Yeah, loan officers should have told me that instead before everything's going on. You know what? The, that's an opportunity. No, because the have? FHA is only allowed. Uh, 20, 21,600 maximum mm -hmm. to get credit. Is it based on the sale price of if, the house? Yeah, based okay. on the sale, yeah. So we're talking about if it's FHA, you're gonna get a 6%, you'll be able to get a 6%, mm -hmm. but if it's a, a, a conventional, mm -hmm. it's only 3%. Okay. So you have to notice that. So we, at the last time, we have to do a lot of our creation. But how did you get there? Why, what, why did you ask for the credit? The area that we were talking about is in Northern Virginia, close to uh, Stafford, is, mm -hmm. uh, let's be specific, like uh, Woodridge. Mm -hmm. That's an area that the house is built like in 1960, 1950. So I've been seeing... Like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Built in 1950s. I mean, those houses need a lot of love, and sometimes people don't take care about that. But, you know, 90% of the time, they have some issue with the foundation. Yes. So uh, we got a company that they're going to be working on it, and they got the uh, invoice and everything like that. But my clients didn't want to, in, in, a, in a way, to work when they... We were supposed to be moving. He didn't want to wait. Yeah, he didn't want to wait. So, so hard to get contractors right now, too. You really have to um, invest or when I say um, put that timeline into your closing mm -hmm. time if you're going to wait for it. So your guy didn't want to wait. No, he didn't want to wait. He went to move in. And, but anyway, everything worked out perfectly, but it was really like a hiccup in the last minute. So this is a beautiful job, but at the same time, it's a lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> well, the hiccup came down to figuring out the exact number that you guys yeah. could get and credit and so credit. when it would go to settlement that day you wouldn't be sitting at the table and everybody rearranging yeah. everything so it was really good uh, the only thing that i really that's a hiccup that i always tell my clients that i love to work with a lender that is locally mm. in the area the communication is a lot better you know i know for sure my client really decided to go with them mm -hmm. Uh, these people were from, uh, there was a broker from California, so they have, uh, they hired another lender. So we have like a three people communication that was really sometimes not really the, the best. Right. So, but anyway, it would count. And I, I really learned. Yes. That's, that's a good experience to learn. Every day is a learning curve. It's a learning experience, yeah. <laughs> 